In this video, we will implement a full adder using system Verilog and simulated in model sim. So the full adder has three inputs and two outputs. And these output equations are what we will implement in system Verilog. And then we'll simulate to make sure that our design matches this truth statement. So what we need to do, if we go to the skeleton project folder that we created previously, and we double click the GE1 underscore SOC dot QPF, this will launch the project in Quadris. Uh, before we do that, a good tip is for future projects, instead of creating the project every time, what you can do is you make a copy of this folder and then lab2 for example or any uh, other name and then start from um, from here from the QPF and then add your source code accordingly. So we're going to go back and launch the quarters. And we need to create a new system very long file. So go to File, New, and then System Very Log hdl file and this opens an editor and here we will write the code for the full adder so i'm gonna copy my code here module full adder and we have the inputs and the outputs listed and here you have the sum and see out equations and then we need to save this save as and save it with the same name as the module name so i'm going to call it full adder.sv Okay, so this is the code for the full adder, but we need to create a test bench to be able to simulate it in model sim. So here I'm going to copy my test bench, and it's another module, full adder underscore test bench, and then here you list all the inputs and outputs as logic and then instantiate the full adder module in this line and then here the initial block will have the values that you need to test these equations with so here we are, we are identifying values for a for b and for c n and um, here the first line is 0, B is 0, CN is 0, and hash 10, this is a time delay. And then after this time delay, change CN to 1 while keeping A and B as zeros for 10, uh, time delay, and then change B to 1 and CN to 0, and so on. In the end module. So, as a reminder, this test bench generates all these combinations for A, B, and C. So, writing eight lines here in the initial block is not a big deal. We don't have that many combinations, but as you scale up, this won't be a convenient way to generate the initial block. 
So what you can do is you can use a for loop instead. And what we're going to do, we can replace this. and replace it with a for loop. So here I defined an integer i, and here I have for loop, for i equals zero, i less than two, star star three. This star star means exponential, which basically means two to the power three, which gives you eight different combinations. And begin, and then you are assigning um, the iterations to A, B, and C in with the delay 10 and end for loop. So this is more convenient, especially when you have more than uh, three inputs. Okay, so now we are ready to compile. Okay, so we compiled and we don't have any syntax errors. So zero errors, we have a lot of warnings. Um, there is a way to uh, suppress these warnings. Some of them are not very useful. Um, so if you scroll up, for example, and um, see a message that presents a warning that doesn't make sense or is not very important, uh, you can um, right click and choose suppress. Yeah, suppress. Under suppress, you can suppress this particular message or all the messages with matching ID. And by doing that, you will reduce the number of warnings. But anyway, um, now we don't have any syntax errors, which is good. So now we need to simulate in model sim. Um, but in order to do that, we need to make sure that our full adder module is a top level entity. So we go here to files and then right click on full adder and set as top entity. And now question marks appeared here, which means that we need to recompile. You could have saved one round of compilation by setting the full adder.sv as your top level entity in the first place um, before compilation. Um, Okay, so now we are ready to launch the model sim. So we go to tools, run simulation tool, and choose RCL simulation. Okay, this opens model sim. And here from this long list, we're gonna click on work and full adder test bench, double click. And here it brings the inputs and outputs that we are interested in um, simulating. Okay, so we have the A, B, C, N, C out, and the I for the loop and the sum. So um, we need to drag the A the B, the C in, the C out, and the sum. If you're interested to also look at the I, that's fine. Uh, you can grab the I as well, um, but you don't have to. And then you notice here we have X's, which means undefined initially because we haven't run the simulation yet. So once you have, uh, once you, you set up your inputs and outputs here, uh, what you go, what you need to do is go to simulate and choose run and run all. 
okay so the simulation is ready and we need to expand the waveforms so there are um, tools here for zooming in and zooming out and this is called zoom full which will extend the waveforms for you and now if we click here at this particular um, instance we have a b and c uh, 0 0 1 and we have the c out is 0 and the sum is 1 which is what we expect from the truth table when we have 0 0 1 0 0 1 the sum is 1 and the C out is 0, which is verified here by model C. And you can do the same for any uh, particular input you are interested in uh, checking. And this is the full adder in system Verilog and model sim.